welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and I'm the owner of Poised and Prepped and I sell pre-loved clothing for men, women, and children. And today I am at my local Goodwill store to do some sourcing. Um, it's actually Sunday, so I've actually been having quite a bit of luck sourcing on the weekends instead of during the week. So I'm out here again this weekend trying to see if the luck continues, hoping for some great finds. Let's go in here and see what I can find. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm but I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool But if I fall, I would get up again so much luck when I was there today. I can't wait to show you guys. And while I'm here, I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what I picked up last night at Goodwill when I went and what I found on Friday. So basically, you know, I usually go sourcing during the week, um, which I think a lot of resellers do just because it's not as busy. The weekends, it can be really crowded and just really hard to like focus. Um, but I noticed during the week, I wasn't really finding as much. And so I was like, okay, I gotta change this up. I gotta figure something new out. And so I started going sourcing on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And guys, let me just tell you, the thrift has been amazing. So I don't know if it's because it's yard sale season and like the weekends is like when things are getting processed. I know some people say that like the stuff that they get from yard sales on the weekends doesn't get processed until later in the week, but my Goodwill stores where I live, they are on top of it. Like it would not surprise me if, if like stuff is just moving through like as soon as it gets in the door, like they are on top of it. So I started going thrifting on the weekends and it's it's been amazing. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I have found. This is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So let's get started. All right, so first of all, I wanted to show you guys a couple hard goods that I picked up today. This blue and white vase pitcher, whichever you prefer. I found this today at Goodwill and I love everything blue and white. Um, blue and white dishes and cups, like every time I see anything blue and white ceramic, I just, like I have to get it. So I was so excited to find this. This is actually, it has a Belk sticker underneath it. Um, the price is like ripped off of it, but it's really nice. So I don't know. I guess I could sell it. I guess I could put it on Poshmark or eBay, but I sort of envisioned like flowers in it and like the center of the table or, you know, I don't know, something like that. But isn't that so gorgeous? I had to get that. 
The next thing that I found was this beautiful American Girl, Samantha's Story Collection. I love American Girl. I had Samantha, that was the doll I had when I was growing up. So there is a bit of just nostalgia. When I saw this, I was like, I have to get this because my daughter actually has my Samantha doll. So I picked this up for my daughter. And then I got these, which this is just like um, Target brand, but I thought these were like really pretty. I thought like for like my office space, I don't know. I just thought these were cute. They were a good price, so I grabbed those. And I'll go ahead and show you these shoes. I picked these shoes up last night. These are J. Crew. These are leather brown pointy toe shoes. They are in amazing condition. There is some like wear on the bottoms, but like everywhere else is perfect condition. Um, these are a size seven and a half. And I really like wanted to keep these for myself, but they are a little too big for me. So they are getting sold, but these shoes sell so well. If I see these and they are in good condition, I always grab them. And then I also found this gorgeous J. Crew red pea coat. I will show you what the tag looks like. It's a double cloth. Let's see if you can see that. And this is a size of four. This is wool. It does actually have like a little like spot right here on it, but I don't know. I just like, it's such a nice coat and comps on these coats are really good. Like you can get like over a hundred dollars on these like older J. Crew coats. Um, so even with the spot, I don't know. I thought maybe I could get it out, but even if I don't attempt it, I still think that I can sell this even for like 50 or $60, even with the flaw. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then let me show you guys here. All right, so this next dress I picked up is this black sleeveless, really cute. This is Elijah J and this is a size six. Um, Elijah J is sold at Nordstrom, but a lot of people love Elijah J. So every time I pick up stuff from there, it usually sells pretty well. Um, some of the pieces, I feel like it does take a little bit for them to sell, but when they do sell, they usually sell for really good. So if you're okay with like sitting on something for a little bit, those are a pretty good bread and butter brand. This is Free People. And this is a size four and this is really pretty golden black sequined dress i mean this is like perfect for new year's new year's eve um but i just love this and these free people sequin dresses you can look up comps but these do really well like 50 to 75 dollar range so when i see the sequin free people dresses i pick them up this is Gosh, I don't think I'm going to be able to say this right. Is this Jawa? Oh my gosh, I know I'm probably not saying that right. I always want to say it's Joey, but I think it's like Jawa. This is an extra small. This is like a cream colored jacket. So usually with this brand, I don't usually pick it up like in tops and stuff. Um, but this being like a shacket, which, you know, was really popular this fall. I'm sure it will be again next fall. I liked the color and everything and it is nice quality. So I went ahead and grabbed it. This dress, I believe this is the first time I've picked this dress up. Um, I don't even know how to say this either. A Zazzy, a Zazzy. And this is a size two. And this is just like a really pretty like maxi length blue gown um, i did run comps on this these are similar to like a lulu's maxi dress um you know they were like 50 dollars, selling for 50 dollars. so i'm gonna give that a try and see how that does this is j crew size extra extra small and this is you know again just like a camel colored sweater blazer I always pick these up. I've picked like three of these up now in the last like two weeks and they just sell. So I see them still, I'm still grabbing them. 
And again, they're selling like still right now. So, so the next thing I found were these beta brand size extra large petite. These are new with tags, which is awesome. And they're just like gray, like a darker gray pant, but beta brand, you know, does pretty well, has great comps. A lot of people say that as soon as they list these, they sell really fast for them. So I definitely wanted to grab those, especially being new with tags. These are Victoria's Secret. These are their athletic line, um, which is pink. You can see there. And these are just plain black. These are a size small. And I wanted to pick those up again because they were new with tags. This brand I wasn't that familiar with, but I will show you guys. Affins Hemp Revolution. It looks like that. These are just like gray, like really wide leg trouser pants. So I grabbed those. These are Ann Taylor. And these are also new with tags. These are a size six and they're just navy trousers. But I have sold the Ann Taylor new with tag trousers a lot. I actually have a better time with them on eBay. Um, and I can usually get like 35 to $45 for them. So I grabbed those. Let's see. Okay, this is marled new with tags sweater size medium just a cream really really soft and cozy this brand is sold at tj maxx i don't really know if i'll get that much for it i actually sort of picked it up for myself but now i'm thinking i might just go ahead and list it but it's really nice it's actually really cute feels really soft um this i was super excited about this is ted baker this is a size four and it's really beautiful. It has all these jewels and it's actually a romper. So at first I thought this was a dress. No, it's little shorts. So Ted Baker does amazing for me. I even had a Ted Baker dress that was, I mean guys, it was flawed. It was like, I don't know, it was so messed up and I actually tried to fix it. And I actually like stitched it up and like it was like broken up the slit. It was a mess. And I still sold that thing for like $65. I'm not kidding. So if you see Ted Baker, I mean, obviously run your comps. But like I said, even with flaws, I still ended up selling that dress for a lot. So very excited to find that. These are Zara Woman and these are a size four. And these are just distressed raw hem jeans. Um, Zara Woman is like their premium collection line of Zara. So these were in great condition. So I definitely grabbed those. These are Everlane. This is a size two. And these are just like pretty simple black cropped leggings. Really great condition though. I mean, perfect condition. They don't look like they've been worn much. So I grabbed those. These are Assets Spanx size large, just plain black leggings by Spanx. These are another pair of Everlane. These are a size medium and these are a little bit more like, I don't know, these are have a little bit more of a sturdy feel to them. Um, really nice, really, you can just tell really like high quality black pants, elastic waist, really nice. These are beyond yoga. These are a size small and I like, again, I don't find, I used to like never find beyond yoga and it's like all of a sudden I'm like finding it like every time I go and I'm just like, what is happening right now? All right, these are a pair of Levi's. These are 501s, which are really, really popular. 501s are like the ones that everyone is looking for. These are men's size 34, 30, and they're just a pair of like white jeans. So I love picking up 501s. They do really well for me. Speaking of, another pair of 501s. These are black. 
These are a size 32, 30. Um, I usually don't pick up any Levi's for men's unless they are the 501s. And I know about the 501s because my brother, that's like all he wears. So when I'm at the thrift store, I'm always like looking for his size in 501s. So found those two. Neither one of those were his size, but I'm still grabbing them. All right, these are We Wore What. These are a size small. These are really cute. We Wore What is like a really nice brand. Um, I think I have a pair of jeans listed by them, but th this stuff retails for a lot. So I found these in purple, and then I also found them in black also, same size, size small. So I was actually really surprised to see this brand in the thrift store. I do not come across it very often, so I definitely wanted to grab those. These are Lulu's, size small. And usually with Lulu's pants, I usually don't pick them up, but these were checkered print, which is so on trend right now. And these were high-waisted. So the, the look alone, just like based on like trend, I went ahead and grabbed these because I think that these will sell. All right, here we have another pair of Beta brand, size large. These are just like elastic waist, black, perfect condition. I don't know what was going on. I was just like finding so much beta brand this weekend. I was just like in shock. I'm like, I'm not, I'm here for it, right? Like I'll take it. <laughs> All right. These were a really exciting find. These are Reformation and these are a size 25 and these are the faucet jean and they're cream cropped and then they're like distressed or not distressed, but like raw hem. So super excited to find Reformation jeans. That's like probably a first. I don't know if I've ever found Reformation jeans before. These are All Saints. Um, I'll show you the back label, what that looks like too. And this is actually my first time finding All Saints. Like I was actually really surprised to find these. And these are, they're rolled up right now, but they are just like raw hemmed skinny jeans so those actually the comps on those they're pretty good they're like fifty dollars 45 50 dollars for that pair so that was exciting zara these are new with tags these are flare pants and these retail for fifty dollars but you know again style the flare which is like really popular right now um, I wanted to go ahead and pick those up. This is Mango. This is a size two. And Mango is sort of like a Zara or an H&M, but it's actually pretty popular. And surprisingly, like when you like do research on Poshmark and like look at comps of Mango, like it will surprise you. Um, there are some dresses that resell for Mango for you know, 45, 50 bucks. So this one's really cute. It buttons on the front. It's like plaid or check, whatever you want to call it. So has these big front pockets, really, really cute style. So I picked that up. This is ASOS. This is like a black lace. Isn't that pretty? And it's a black jumpsuit. I love jumpsuits. So this one is a size I actually don't see a size, but it's labeled as a small on this tag. So I'm sure it's probably a small. So I grabbed that. This is new with tags and Taylor, really classy, like burgundy office style dress. It has this really cute, like belted waist. This is like a perfect dress for like work. It's got the scoop neck, really, really classy and new with tags. So. Definitely pick that up. This is J. Crew. How fun is this print? It's a midi length. It's like smocked up here at the top. This one is new with tags. This one is a small petite, so pretty. It has adjustable straps. I just think this is so pretty. So I grabbed that. This is a sweater dress. So gorgeous. This is cream, cable knit. 
beautiful. This is Calvin Klein and this is an extra large and I have sold this exact dress I'm gonna say like four or five times at this point. I've sold it in gray, I've sold it in blue, I've sold it in black. I have sold this dress over and over and over. So when I see this exact dress, I pick it up in literally any size, but this one being an extra large, I think is even better. So I was actually really happy to find that. This is Madewell, this is a size small. This is like a flannel, but it has like a puff sleeve really cute top for fall and then I also picked up this is free people size small and this one's really actually cute it doesn't look like much but it's got this really nice like crochet work in the back and then the front these sleeves are like puff sleeves really pretty actually um like when you have it on so I was excited about that Okay, this was probably like one of my most exciting finds. Um, this was Farm Rio. And it's a size small. And it's just like this red sweater. But Farm Rio, I was so excited. I saw the tag and I was like, oh my gosh. I was really, really excited. So I did look up comps on this. This sweater is selling for like a hundred bucks. Um, this one's in perfect condition, really beautiful, super excited to find Farm Rio. I think I've only found it like one other time. Um, so very excited. This is Lily Pulitzer, size two, really pretty print, perfect condition. Um, I love Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer is a bread and butter brand for me. If I see Lily Pulitzer and it's in good condition, I'm picking it up. I love to sell Lily Pulitzer, so found that. I also picked up this sundry dress and size zero. It's sort of just like a t-shirt tank top dress, but comps looked really good on this. So I think this is the first time I've ever picked up sundry before. So I'm pretty interested to see how that will do. All right, so moving on now into what I picked up today. And the first thing I have is this Bowden size six black jumpsuit. Really, really nice. Super excited to find that. I love selling Bowden. Um, these are J. Crew. Okay, and these are actually like a perfect example that I wanted to show you guys. These are J. Crew. They're the old tag, size zero. But do you see this right here? I'm gonna try to get, it does have some like marker written through it. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this, but it's T-O-L-L-E-G-N-O, -L -L -E 1900, fabric made in Italy. And these specifically, these right here, if you pick these up, people are searching for this. I, like I said, I sold a pair of these last week on eBay for $45. And to be totally honest, I probably could have countered back and got more for them, but I just, you know, it was a good offer. It was a fair offer, so I wanted to take it, but I could have probably pressed and gotten more. So if you see the J. Crew pants with this on them, I, I would highly recommend running comps, but for me, I've had amazing luck with them. All right, so these are Athleta. These are a size 12. And these are just like blue wide leg pants. Um, they have like zipper pockets in the back. And I actually found two of them. So I think this is the other pair. They're the exact same pants. Except one's a 12, and then this one is a 14. But they're the same exact pants. Blue, wide leg. And let me see. These are another pair of Beta brand, size medium, long. These are, again, elastic waist, great condition. These are definitely like more of like a skinnier leg. Um, so I grabbed those. These are... Patagonia. I really don't know if these are men's or women's. I really don't know even like how to tell. 
if any of you guys know, maybe it's on the tag somewhere, but I won't spend time right now. But I picked these up, Patagonia pants. Um, Patagonia sells great for me. I love picking up Patagonia. These are Torrid, and these are a size two. And these are just like, they're like fox leather leggings. Really cute, really great condition. So I grabbed those. These are Athleta, and these are the older Athleta tag, size 10, but in my experience, as long as the style of them are cute, people don't really care. They like Athleta, they want that look, whatever the look is they're going for. These are joggers, they have like an elastic ankle, green, really cute print. So I picked those up. This is a really pretty dress here. This is J. Crew, and this is a size 16, and it's this navy tweed dress, and it's got this like white spot in it. But I love the J. Crew tweed. The J. Crew tweed stuff is such high quality. Um, so I definitely want to pick this one up, especially because it's a size 16, which is an amazing size. So um, this one is actually from spring 2020. You can see there underneath the tag, it'll tell you the season that the dress is from. So that's pretty recent. So I definitely wanted to grab that. All right, this is Torrid, new with tags, size one. And this is, I believe this is a dress. I believe this is a dress, maybe like off the shoulder, floral, I don't know if this is a top or if it's a dress. Sometimes it can be hard to tell, but it was torrid, new with tags, and I grabbed it. All right, this is a Free People sweater. You can see it's a size medium. It's like this green long sleeved. It's got a hood on it. Really, really nice. It actually like ties and like is an like elastic waist. Um, really nice, great condition. Grab that. These are Carly Jean Los Angeles. And these were new with tags. As you can see, these are a size 15, which Carly Jean Los Angeles is like a boutique style brand. So I don't really know what that size is, like converted, but they are button fly here, wide leg, raw hem, very on trend. Um, Carly Jean Los Angeles, you know, it doesn't like resell for like a ton, but it can do well. So again, run your comps on that. I have sold items by Carly Jean in the past, like mostly dresses. I don't think I've ever sold their denim before, but these, I love the style and they were new with tags. So I'm gonna give them a try. All right, I am, I'm gonna keep going. If you guys are still with me, you are amazing. All right, so I was super excited. I found mother jeans. I know that that's difficult to read, but these are mother jeans. These are the Wilder Medium Kitty, and these are a size 26. They're sort of like a bell-bottomy wide leg. Super excited to find mother jeans. I think this makes my third time now finding mother jeans. So that's a big deal. I'm really, really excited to find those today. This is Can Can. This is new with tags. And it's this light sort of acid washed jean cropped jacket. Really cute. And then I found this Lily Pulitzer dress, size double zero, but the style of this is so pretty. I loved the gold. I think this one's gonna do really well. So I grabbed that. These are Abercrombie and Fitch. These are ultra high rise jean legging in a size 28. These are dark wash, raw hem. And guys, I have been skipping over the Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. 
I don't know. I, I, there's like, it's hard to like know. So I actually like took some time and like, you know, ran comps and like looked at the labels to see like which ones were like actually selling for a lot. So I think I'm getting it down, but I sold a pair of them last week for $45. So again, definitely don't want to be passing up on the Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. Um, hope, hoping that these will do as well as that last pair. These are J brand and these are a size 26. These are high waisted, really like wide leg bell bottom. Really, really cute. I grabbed those. This is cupcakes and a cashmere dress. This is new with tags. You can see there. Um, this says this retails for 120. Really cute, but honestly, I like cupcakes and cashmere is like all over the place at TJ Maxx now. So I don't know. I it seems like I picked up a couple of sweaters from there and they didn't do very well, if I'm just being honest. Um, I think I sold them for like $25. Not that great. So I, I did want to grab this since it's a dress and it's new with tags, but honestly, I don't expect it to like really perform that well, maybe 35. I don't know, but I, I did want to pick it up, but cupcakes and cashmere, maybe it just like depends on the piece, but I know last time I picked up uh, the sweaters, I didn't do great. These are DL 1961. These are the Melissa pants. And they're sort of like bell bottom, again, bell bottom style. Um, these are a size 26. I think these are all from the same person. Like, you know, when like you find the same size and everything's the same style and you're like, this is totally all the same person. But I did run comps on these and these were reselling for like 45, 50 bucks. So yeah, pretty good. Definitely happy to pick those up. These, okay, let me see here. Okay, this is a loft dress. This is new with tags, size eight. Just like a really cute three-fourth sleeve floral. Just really cute. I grabbed that. This is Lulu's size medium. This is like a crochet navy dress. Um, this one actually has some like, I don't know like see there under like the armpit so at first I was like oh, I'm just not gonna get it but then I was like well maybe I can just like throw it in the wash or I'm gonna try to like fix it but I think I can all right this is let's see here okay this is made well size extra small this is like a puff sleeve striped it sort of has like a a flannelly feel to it, but really cute for like fall. I thought that was cute. Um, I picked up this Victoria Secret bra. I'll show you there. That's a 34B. And bras at my Goodwill are a dollar. So this one is in amazing condition. It's so pretty. And guys, like I have been blown away by like how well that like bras resell. So I've been trying more and more if I remember to like go through the bras, like the sports bras and regular bras and stuff like that. So I was definitely really excited to find that. All right, so I actually picked up a couple other pairs of shoes. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. So the first pair are these black Lulu's Hills. Um, I did check these to make sure that they're was a right foot and a left foot, and there are. So really excited about these. Um, these look basically new. I mean, I don't think these have been worn. These are a size nine. Really nice, really classic pair of Lulu's heels. And then I also picked up these J. Crew. See if you can see that j crew espadrilles these are black they like lace up the ankles they have like a little bit of like i don't know if that's like mud i'm gonna try to clean them up but like 
comps on these J Crew espadrilles look really good right now. So I, if I can get them cleaned up, I think I can probably get like $45, $50 for these. So I definitely want to grab those. And then I actually also picked up these black espadrilles as well. These are a size seven. These are by Old Navy. Generally, I don't pick up Old Navy shoes, but considering these are lace-up espadrilles and they were in good condition, these are really on trend right now. Everybody's wearing the espadrille sandals this summer, so I really thought these would still sell even though they're Old Navy. So I went ahead and grabbed those two, and I believe that's all I had in terms of shoes from today. All right, and then the last piece that I wanted to show you guys was this dress behind me. This is New With Tags Loft, size eight. It's this mustard, it's got like this ruffle hem, it's midi length, tie waist, so cute. I don't know, I'm sort of thinking I might keep it for myself, but I probably will just end up listing it. But that is everything I got this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So honestly, I'm exhausted. I. <laughs> I feel like I've just been like a sourcing machine this weekend. So really happy with everything I got, but now it's time to get all this cleaned and steamed and photographed and listed, which, you know, is a lot of hard work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy content like this, and I will see all of you guys again soon. Bye everybody. Standing underneath the lights. Each other's eyes